Hi everyone, today on Gospel and Spade, we are going to take a look at the Tobiah inscriptions, which are dated to the 3rd or 2nd century BC, and can be found at the site of Iraq al-Amir in Jordan. These two large Aramaic inscriptions were carved directly into the rock walls at the modern site of Iraq al-Amir. In the Old Testament period, this site was a pair of the ancestral lands of the Ammonites, known as the land of Ammon. Both inscriptions clearly record the name Tobiah and identify the various dwellings, tombs and storage areas that were carved directly into the side of the hill as having belonged to the Tobiah family. A nearby palace structure, which apparently was never finished, also belonged to the same Tobiah family. This large and impressive estate clearly shows the wealth power and importance of the Tobiad family within the land of Ammon. The existence of this site and its inscriptions help to confirm the historicity of the Old Testament book of Nehemiah, as within it an important Ammonite man called Tobiah is mentioned several times, starting in chapter 2 verse 10. Tobiah was one of a group of important individuals from the region surrounding Judah that opposed Nehemiah's rebuilding of the walls of Jerusalem in the mid-5th century BC. The biblical description of an important Ammonite man called Tobiah from the land of Ammon fits well within the evidence and inscriptions found at Iraq al-Amir. The biblical Tobiah was possibly either the original patriarch of the family or an important member of the Tobiah family which Ammonite family lasted well into the 2nd century BC. The evidence for the important Tobiad family in the land of Ammon helps to demonstrate the accuracy and dependability of the historical account found recorded in the book of Nehemiah. Thank you for watching. As always, please don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe for more new content every Friday.